For local schools, it's a top health concern, one that could lead to long-term health effects. According to a youth tobacco survey, 10% of high schoolers and nearly 5% of middle school students reported using e-cigarettes. And as Sarah Allen reports, that's just one reason why Robbinsdale area schools are trying to take action. It's been a concern here at the school district. Nikki Stout is on the front line of trying to stop kids from vaping. A lot of them are using to self-medicate. A lot of anxiety, a lot of depression that seems to either be unrecognized or undiagnosed. The substance abuse specialist with Robbinsdale Area Schools says vaping is a concern due to its effects on young brains. The adolescent brain, it's developing until the age of 25. And so we know that when there's use that's um, occurring before the brain has fully developed, there's a higher risk for addiction. But it's not just the health of students that's a concern. Obviously putting a vape pen down the toilet, it's not going to, it's not gonna fit. School officials say vape pens are being flushed down toilets, causing them to clog and overflow. In one case this year, Armstrong High School had to close for a full day while repairs and cleanup took place. There's also another challenge with e-cigarettes. If you think about traditional cigarettes and youth, you know, the sneaking a cigarette, uh, you know, behind the school gym during break, because of the smell of cigarettes, it's really hard to pull it off in your home or in school. Uh, but with vaping, with it being relatively odor-free. Dr. Gavin Bart at Hennepin Healthcare says e-cigarettes can more easily deliver nicotine than traditional cigarettes. Kids in a disposable vape can carry around, you know, the equivalent of half a carton of cigarettes. Dr. Bart encourages parents to create an environment where kids feel like they can talk about vaping without fear of punishment, Robbinsdale District staff are working on having supportive conversations, too. We are doing advisory lessons on it. We are doing health curriculum around it. By taking these proactive measures, schools and caregivers hope that kids are better aware of the dangers of vaping before they ever think about starting. It boils down to, to we care. We want you to be healthy. We want you to be safe. Sarah Allen, CCX News. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.